far away and can easily be defended by the rook moving to c8. Meanwhile, nothing's going to stop the a pawn from moving forward. Hikaru continues to play fast, and this, uh, David, is busted for black. Yep, it's over. And another game where we might see a handshake any moment. It's imminent. You can tell the body language of Basov. There we go. He resigns. Hikaru takes the win. Another important victory uh, for the player with the white pieces. And Hikaru, he's right back. And uh, and then suddenly falling behind. By the way, Hikaru played the move bishop f5. He just makes sure that the light square bishop are traded. And that's kind of resignation territory. Finally, that light squared bishop off the board. But now it's on Hikaru's terms. And uh, Nijati reaches out to make another move. But he knows that this is close to resign territory. The bishop on h4 hangs. The king on f1 controlling the f3 passer. The c pawn far away and can easily be defended by the rook moving to c8. Meanwhile, nothing's going to stop the a pawn from moving forward. Hikaru continues to play fast. And this, uh, David, is busted for black. Yep, it's over. And another game where we might see a handshake any moment. It's imminent. You can tell the body language of Basov. There we go. He resigns. Hikaru takes the win. Another important victory uh, for the player with the white pieces. And Hikaru, he's right back in the tournament. It Tan Zhong Yi, F3 played, and it's a blunder. Queen F2 uh, anyway. Did you say F3 is a blunder? Well said. These words have never been uttered before. Yeah. I That's like queen so f2. That, that, oh. that used to queen g3. Yeah. Oh, that was blundered. Queen f2, 96, queen g3. Just visualize it mm -hmm. if you're watching. And this queen has been overloaded the whole game. Yeah. And white will drop the knight. <laughs> will she find queen f2? 20 seconds, lating j. She's got yep. it. Yep. The end. That's the end for him in these candidates. This would indeed be the final shot to Ali Reza's dream of making it to the world championship. If he loses this one, that would be the end of the road for that. Even mathematically impossible to make it to the top, as Peter, you pointed out. For Fabi, the must-win situation seems to become a reality as he moves closer towards that point that he needs. Now catching up with the leader, Fabi confidently gets up, leaves the board. So much pressure on Ali Reza's king and the bishop overloaded trying to stop the b2 pawn trying to keep the f5 pawn defended the h4 pawn coming into fire and that is it ali reza feruja resigns he does not want to suffer anymore fabiano caruana goes ahead closes in with the leader with that win keeps his chances alive but for ali reza feruja it will not be the world championship this time fuck him up i'll fuck him up if he comes down, he's literally on the ceiling. Like, I'm not gonna start like crawling on the ceiling. Bitch! I think I got him. Online, you're hoping for a mouse slip. Over the board, there's no reason to continue playing. King B4 resigns exactly as anticipated. A5 rook, a rook F6 separating the king and the pawn. There it is. Wow, what a round. What a game. What a comeback. Most likely to end in a draw right now. We've got the live position. David, any chance to fight here? Uh, no. <laughs> I wish there was. Uh, I want to be optimistic, but this game is about to fizzle out. Um, essentially, symmetrical pawn structure on the king side, symmetrical king positions. Uh, neither king can play a part. They're both too far away right now. Um, the two remaining pawns on the queen side are going to get traded off. Black's B pawn will now disappear. There we go, off the board. And uh, white, yeah, white's pawn disappears. Gukesh actually looked at Jan there, just waiting for the handshake now. Clinical execution there with the pawns traded off. Three pawns each on the king's side. A symmetrical, and we can see eye contact. And with that, with them... They have to reach the 40 move mark though before the draw offer is made and accepted and it felt like there was a bit of confusion there but the players did get it right and it is move 40 with g not contribute to the position that don't help black's cause random moves on the queen side just to make time control two more moves to make in seven seconds oh this one again the clock costing for b5 going on the attack 
throwing pawns forward against White's bishop, but loosening up his own position in the meantime. It's that state of Black's position once he reaches move 4D. Tanya, I think he's going to make it. One move to make in six seconds, but will he survive past move 40? Oh, Fabiano, this is a golden opportunity for him, looking nervously at the clock, checking the score sheet, one move to make each. Each and 20 seconds for Fabi as well. So he needs to make a decision where he wants to retreat with the bishop. And he makes it, he makes it time control. Feruja reaching out and he just makes the move with one second on the clock. Bishop d5 played. Time control met. What happened? The arbiter has stepped in, I believe. Neither point if you could stay calm. So I try and leave the board, but I mean, last... Oh, he's... he's... No, he hasn't seen it. Wow. Bishop to e2. Ooh. Wow. Reading move. Uh, that's a surprise. That's a shocker, David. Yeah. I mean, we were wrong. He hadn't spotted it, Fabiano. Otherwise, he would have gone for it and he would have had a decisive advantage potentially this early in the game. Wow. Faruja will find out a lot now from his expression. He seems calm. Maybe he hadn't seen it either. Um, I think it might have been one of those cases, mutual blindness. Um, Peter, as you said, if Faruja had seen it and reacted, Fabiano would have seen it instantly. Um, but that telepathy, that, uh, that kind of psychic uh, bond between them, it didn't exist right there at least. And maybe they both missed this uh, E5 blow. Yes, yeah, certainly. Yeah, we also missed it. To be fair, yeah, it, it wasn't it wasn't clear. The bar was screaming that there is something happening. This checkmate would be lovely. Oh man, no. It clickbait. Oh, it didn't see. Oh, it didn't see. Oh, it, because it was. Oh my God, he didn't see. I didn't. Oh my God, it clicked by itself. <laughs> Guys, so now clip I take this. The queen, right? I take the queen. The situation with this whole brouhaha, but you know, whatever. Not a, not not my issue. I would say, but you know, that's that's how it goes. So I'll just I'll talk about these things briefly. How about the shoe things? I know a lot of people are asking about that too. Um. Okay. I did not hear about the I did not hear about the shoes, but I will say that for all the players, when we step off the stage, which is this like elevated stage, it, it is an old wooden floor. It is a little bit creaky, so everybody's shoes do make some noise. Um, so that 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 is just the reality. That's how it goes. Um, yes, we see a lot of moves happening very quickly, which is very excite me. And uh... you pointed out, it's not something that should be discussed for for years. Everyone was responsible until Danya got involved, says Manke FG in the chat. Uh, I agree. And in the old days, uh, my coach uh, forbade me from just trying to remember the past tense of that word uh, from playing any bloods during a tournament. So, you know, in these.